long list. hoping you may have heard of me, but if not, you've definitely heard of my stories. And that's why you're here today. So I want you to sit back and relax as we tell the story of an amazing animal. Animal that changed the lives of a wonderful family hill. It is I, Story Little Hold Your Applause, Hold Your Applause. Now my story begins. No, Stuart. No, no. It is not you. It's not? No. I'm sorry. But I'm an amazing animal in one of your stories, an animal that changed the lives of a wonderful family. Yes, you are, but today we're performing a musical. A musical revolving around a remarkable animal that shows her unique talent with the world around her. Oh, you mean the trumpet of the swan? No, Stuart, I'm talking about Charlotte's Web. Charlotte's Web? Charlotte the Spider? What was her talent? She was a writer, so sit back and watch. Stuart? Everyone? We'll start our story on just your average morning here at Mr. Homo Zuckerman's farm. begins as Wilbur, a spring pig, who was the runt of his litter, was saved and taken care of by an eight-year-old girl named Fern. Soon, however, Fern saw that Wilbur needed a new home, and that new home was Mr. Zuckerman's farm. I'll finish Mr. Zuckerman. Well, here's your new border. Fern, honey, I just opened a big can of peaches. You come in and have a dish with us. Okay, thanks. Let me stay with Wilbur, just for a little bit. Kelly gets used to his new surroundings. It's very nice here, Wilbur, and I come and visit you almost every day. Night, better go. See you tomorrow. It's a very large barn. I don't know what I hold that. I like the smell. Hey, I'm manure, horses, and cows. It has a peaceful smell, as though nothing bad could happen ever again in the world. Fern was right. It is very nice here. Hello, hello, hello. Who, who are you? The goose. Oh, hi, goose. And this is my friend, the gander, gander, gander. But I only see one gander. You introduced me to three. No, no, no. We tend to repeat, repeat, repeat ourselves. Do you have a name besides pig? Yes. They call me Wilbur. Wilbur, that's a pretty tacky name if you ask me. Well, nobody, nobody, nobody asked you. Templeton the Rat. In person, or should I say in a rodent? Well, I will admit, it's nice to have a pig around with place gun. I haven't had delicious leftover slops in ages. But the slots will be for me. I'm sure you'll find 
find it in your chair. It took a little hard to share your food with deer on the day, especially if I arrange my nest right here beside your trough. The old, old sheep and the little, little lamb have come in to meet their newest resident, Wilbur. What's up, come on, oh, she's in here. We have a new resident. Oh yeah, the pig. You know about me? We overheard the Zuckerman and Siska sing you. And fatten you up with delicious slops. Just the same, we don't envy you. You know why they want to make you fat and tender, don't you? No, I don't. Nice to meet you, Wilbur. Lamb, I'm Germanus. Nice to meet you, Wilbur. Well, I'm eggs to hatch. And I have a trash pile to raise. Good, good night, Wilbur. Better get some rest after such a long day. Yes, thank you, I will. The animals seem nice, I think, but I'm not sure about Templeton, and I'm a trifle concerned about Voltrude Seymour. You know why they want to make you fat and tender, don't you? Well, I don't know. An old sheep didn't tell me. Well, I'm not going to worry about it just now. I'm much too tired. Charlotte, a spider, carefully comes out and stares on from behind her web. She peeks over at Wilbur and smiles softly to herself. It didn't take long for Wilbur to come face to face with the eight-legged occupant of Mr. Zuckerman's rafters. In fact, as soon as he heard a voice call out, do you want a friend, Wilbur? I'll be a friend to you. I watched you all night and I like you. You had to know who said it. Let's take a look. Salutations. Oh, hello. What are salutations? It's my fancy way of saying hello. Oh, I'm salutations to you too. Very pleased to meet you. What is your name? Can, may I have your name, please? My name is Charlotte. Charlotte what? Charlotte A. Cabetta. I'm a spider. I think you're beautiful. Thank you. And I think your web is beautiful too. I know it looks fragile, but it's really very strong. I it protects me and I trap my food. You'll be my friend. In fact, it restores my appetite. Will you join me? No, thank you. My breakfast is waiting for me on the other side of my web. Oh, what are you having? A fly. I caught this morning. You eat flies? And bugs. Actually, I drink their blood. <clears throat> That's the way I made. I can't help it. Anyway, if I didn't catch insects and eat them, there would be so many, they'd destroy the earth. Wipe out everything. Really? I wouldn't want that to happen. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to have my breakfast. Well, I got a new friend, all right, but Charlotte is brutal, I think, and bloodthirsty. How can I learn to like her even though she is pretty and clever, it seems? Wilbur did learn to like Charlotte, and back then friendship grew quickly. Soon, however, Wilbur became depressed. You see, he learned what the other barnyard animals were hiding from him. He learned the secret behind why Mr. Zuckerman wanted to fatten him up. I don't know what's gonna happen. It's gonna need a miracle. Oh
to do what to do. I promised to save his life, and I'm determined to keep that promise. But how? I know the way to the Wilbur's to play a trick on Zuckerman. If I can fool a bug into my web, I can surely fool me. People are not as smart as bugs. That's it. This will not be easy, but it must be done. First, I tear a section of my web and leave an open space in the middle. Swing spinnerets, let out bed, add a girl. The message is spun. I've come to an end. The job that I've done is all for my friend. Some pig. As the day went on, the news about Charlotte's web began to spread throughout the county. People came from miles around to see the words in Charlotte's web. News of the wonderful pig spread clear up into the hills, where the farmers talked about the miraculous animal on Zuckerman's farm. Charlotte knew there would be even more visitors the next day. That night, while the other creatures slept, Charlotte began to work on her web again. Swing spinnerets, let out thread. The longer it gets, the better it's read. Spinning and weaving, she began to form new letters. Again, she talked to herself to cheer herself on. Descend, pay out line. Whoa, girl, steady. Now for the R. On through the night, while the spider worked at her difficult task, it was nearly morning when she finally finished. The message is spun. I've come to an end. The job I've done is all for my friend. She then ate a small bug she was saving. And after that, she fell asleep. Make room for the photographer and the reporter from the Weekly Chronicle. How big Wilbur's got in. Homer, you get some extra good ham and bacon when it's time to kill that pig. Somebody help him! Oh, I'll be the pig! Wait, 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 watch me, watch me! Wait, wait! Oh, be quiet, be quiet! Avery, who do you think you are? I'm a pig! Oink, 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 oink! Just like it says in the web. Well, Mr. Zuckerman, that's not what it says in the web. Glory be! We're so busy chattering, we didn't even notice yet there's another word in the web. Radiant. Radiant. Well, sir, that does it. I have an announcement to make that you can print in the newspaper. If I'm going to enter the pig in the county fair, and if he can win the blue ribbon, I guarantee we'll never make bacon and ham out of him. Come on, everybody, let's go to the kitchen and celebrate with some fresh apple strudel and iced tea. Sounds good, Edith. Charlotte, you did it. Thank you, thank you. Well, we got you to the fair, but now you have to win it. Will you come with me to the fair, Charlotte, please? I'm not sure, I'm just not sure. Now, may I ask everyone to kindly leave? This day has been very exhausting, and I must get some rest. Of course, Charlotte. Come on, Lamb. Me, me, me too. Ditto, ditto, ditto. I'm suddenly very tired. I know I won't be able to help Wilbur much longer, but I, and I have to lay my eggs soon, but I want to lay them here in the barn where it's warm and safe. But I'll take a chance. I will go to the fair with Wilbur. People will be expecting to see a word in the web, and it may help him win the blue ribbon. And his whole future, if he is to have a future at all, totally depends on what happens at the fair. The days of summer drifted on. Before long, summer was almost gone. The end of summer brings many things. Late harvesting, thoughts of school, and the county fair. Charlotte did go with Wilbur to the county fair and he was quite the hit of all the fair goers. However, he was no match for a humongous swine by the name of Uncle. What's shaking, bacon? And just like that, Wilbur Salvation's were in jeopardy again. That pig over there has already won first prize. That's terrible. That's terrible. It's not fair. He just won because he's fat. I bet I'll 
the Jesus effect too. Hold on here, what's everybody crying about? Edith, give the piggies buttermilk back. But he didn't win, Homer. People are still gonna come by and see him. And what's are in the web now? Let's get busy. That's the spirit, Homer. I'll give him his breakfast. I'll help with the bath, Edith. Fern and Avery, tidy up the area. Homer, I think our uh, sign needs to be a little bit more prominent. What's prominent mean? It means easy to see, more noticeable. You're very prominent yourself, Avery. Attention, please, attention, please. We would like to ask as many of you as can to assemble in the livestock area where we are about to present a special award. Special award? It must be for the cows or the horses. When you arrive at the livestock area, please go to the section where the pigs are located. Sounds like somebody around here is going to get another award. That fat pig over there. Oh man! We would like to ask you to report directly to the pig owned by Mr. Homer Zuckerman. The pig owned by Mr. Homer Zuckerman, yahoo! We got no time to lose. Finish bathing him, Edith. I'll get a little more straw. I'll get rid of the slop bucket. Homer, does my hair look all right? Looks fine. You didn't even look at my hair. You're all right, Edith. Just keep calm. Okay, Wilbur's finished. I'll put these things back in the truck. A large crowd begins to gather. Mr. Zuckerman's famous pig is a hit. Good morning. Hello there. Is this the Zuckerman pig? Yes, indeed. There he is. That's the pig we've been hearing about. He isn't as big as the pig next door, but if he's cleaner, that's what I like. So do I. And he's humble too, just like it says in the spider's web. The fair's announcer pushes her way through the crowd. Those of you who can't get in close, don't worry. You'll hear everything you need to hear. Testing, testing. Can everybody hear me? Good. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I now present Mr. Homer L. Zuckerman's distinguished pig. Yay! Many of you will recall when the writing first appeared in the Seriously, on the spider's web, Mr. Zuckerman's barn, calling attention to all to the fact that this was some pig, then came the word terrific. And he is. Look at it. Yeah! It's the buttermilk. Then came the word radiant. And finally today, the word terrific. Whence came this mysterious writing? Well, the miracle has never been fully explained. We all know that we are dealing with supernatural forces here. And we should all feel proud and grateful. Yeah! of your valuable time. On behalf of the Governors of the Fair, I take the honor of awarding a special prize of $285 to Mr. Zuckerman and this handsome bronze medal, which far outshines any blue ribbon, to this radiant, this terrific, this humble pig. What's wrong? What's wrong with your pig? He's fine. He gets these spells. He's modest and can't stand the praise. Well, we can't give a prize to a dead pig. It's never been done. I mean, squeal? Yeah! And now, ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention for the official awarding of the prizes? Here is $25 for Mr. Zuckerman and this bronze medal for the star attraction of our county fair. Yeah!
more peaceful now that I know you will live with it, secure and safe. Oh, Charlotte, why did you do all this for me? I've never done anything for you. You have been my friend. That in itself is a tremendous thing. And what's life anyway? We are born, we live a little, we die. Perhaps I was li perhaps by helping you, I was lifting up my life a trifle. Heaven knows, anyone's life can stand a little of that. You have saved my life, Charlotte, and I would gladly give my life for you. I really would. I'm sure you would. Charlotte, won't it be wonderful to be back in the barn again? I'll not be going back to the barn. Not going back? What are you talking about? I'm done for. In a day or two, I'll be dead. Charlotte. I'm so tired. I can't even crawl up to my head. Charlotte, my friend. Come on now, Wilbur. Let's not make a scene. I won't leave you alone to die. I shall stay too. You can't. They won't let you. Besides, even if you did stay, there would be no one to feed you. The fairgrounds will soon be empty and deserted. Wait a minute. I have an idea. Tumpleton, wake up, pay attention. Can't a rat catch a wake of flame? Listen to me, Charlotte is very ill. She won't be coming home with us. I must take her egg sack with me. I can't reach it, and I can't climb. Please, please, Templeton, and climb up and get the egg sack. What do you think I am anyways? A rat of all work? Hurry, then I'll be back soon, Templeton. I will make you a promise. Get Charlotte's egg sack for me, and from now on I will let you eat first when Larvy slots me. You get first choice of everything in the trough. You mean that? I promise. I cross my heart. All right. It's a deal. Use extreme care. I don't want a single one of those eggs harm. Charlotte, I will protect it with all my might. Thank you, Templeton. Now you better run to the truck and hide under the straw if you want to ride back home. You bet I'm going back home now that I get forced to listen to everything in the truck. Just then, Homer, Lurvy, and Avery enter. They come to get Wilbur and get him packed for their journey home. We'll take care of everything. Eve, drop the tailgate of the pickup truck and get his crate ready. Oh, goodbye, Charlotte. Goodbye. Goodbye, Wilbur. Goodbye, my friends. The next day, as the ferrets were being taken apart, their, the racehorses were being loaded into the rams, the entertainers were packing up their belongings and riding in the trailers, Charlotte died. Of the hundreds of people that visited the fair, no one knew that a gray spider had played the most important part of all. Wilbur kept his promise to Charlotte. He took care of her sack and her babies, or well, the ones that stayed at least. Wilbur dedicated his medal to his dear Charlotte, of whom he would never forget in his long-lived life. It's not often that someone comes along who's a good friend and a true writer. Charlotte was both. Thank you for listening, and good night.